Okay, so welcome to the digital blending drill. And this is a great tool to use if you're doing virtual tutoring. You could also use it in the classroom if you're using a smart board, that would work as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you through these steps. I've put some directions here as a reminder, but I think it would be easier to just see how it works. So first of all, on the second slide, we have a list of all the different concepts. And so it tells you the slide number over to the left and then to the right, it shows you what the concept is. So for instance, on slide three, you'll see CVC words. So you'll have to make decisions about what you would like to have the students work on. So let's say for instance, you have a student who's just doing the short A. Well then what you would do, and I'm gonna move this here, is just make sure that we are starting with the short A, and then you would just make sure <clears throat> that you don't want to actually manipulate the vowels. You would just leave the A and you would just manipulate the beginning sound and the final sound. So a couple things you want to remember when you're doing these blending drills. First of all, you want to make sure that you're in control of this and not the students because it be can become a little bit tricky to maneuver. Um, the other thing is we want to make sure that this blue box is going to cover up any of the tiles. So as we're having the students read, we're gonna just drag the tiles to change the tile. So do you see how that tile, it disappears behind the blue. Now, sometimes what will happen is, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Sometimes you'll see a tile go in front. I, now I've gone through and I've clicked that blue box so that it should be in front, but just in case, you wanna make sure that um, that the tile will disappear behind the blue box. So how do you make that happen? So all you need to do is click on the blue box. So then you'll see the little white dots. You'll see that the blue box is, collect is selected. You're gonna right click, and then you see these little icons here. Bring to front or send to back. So in PowerPoint, you can stack different objects or you can stack letters, whatever it is you're making shapes. So in this case, we want to bring the blue rectangle to the front. We want it to make sure it goes in front of all of the slides. So that way, when we're dragging, it disappears. So those letters are going to disappear behind the blue box. Okay, and then the students would just say the sounds and blend. So as an example, lag, lag, lap, lap, lip, lip. And then you just keep going until you're ready to stop. Now, one of the things that you'll wanna remember is when you're finished, you wanna X out, but you don't want to save. Because if you've manipulated the cards and now the cards are all underneath the blue box, you don't wanna save that. You wanna save it the way it originally was. Otherwise, you'd have to go through and drag all of those cards back up to the top, which is kind of a pain. You don't want to have to do that if you can avoid it. So, I mean, if you need to, you can, but just want to give you that quick tip too, that you don't want to save it. The other thing you can do is you can use this blending drills document and you can take pieces. So let's say take different slides and copy and paste it into a different PowerPoint. So what I do, I have about 12 kids that I work with right now, so I have a separate PowerPoint for each of them. It's just an easy way for me to organize their materials. So let's say I decide I want to work on um, the silent E syllable with digraphs and blends. So that's number eight, so I'm gonna go to slide eight. And then what I would do is just right click, copy it, and then I can just go into one of my students' PowerPoints and then I can just click here, right click, and paste it. And now I have it in there, so it's ready to go. So that's just a kind of a management tip. I'm gonna go back to the blending drill. Um, and then you also just wanna make sure, again, customize as you need to. So if your students are only working on a couple of short vowels, you'll just wanna make sure that you're only using those cards so you can manipulate them you can move slides you might let's say you only wanted to work on the short O. you could just drag those out of the way and so you're only focusing on that one thing so you can kind of customize it as you need to and then again all of the directions are on the front so you know exactly how to do it 
So have fun doing the blending drill with your students.